Today we are discussing the criticism of Keynes theory of money and prices. Let's discuss it. The first point is direct relation. See, Keynes took prices as fixed so that the effect of money appears in terms of goods traded rather than average prices. Now, whatever he talked about prices, he took them as fixed so that when we talk about the quantity of money and the prices, the effect of money, it appears in terms of goods. We talk about goods, not in the terms of average prices. Keynes adopted an indirect mechanism through interest rates, bonds and bond prices and investment of effect of monetary changes on the economy. But the actual effects of monetary changes are direct rather than indirect. So we note that the effect of monetary changes, whenever we change the quantity of money that affects the uh, actual comes which is direct rather than indirect. But Keynes adopted an indirect mechanism through the bond prices and the interest rates to specify the uh, effect on the economy. But we also conclude that the effect of monetary changes are direct. So here lies the crit criticism for Keynes theory. Next point is the stable demand for money. Now Keynes assumed that monetary changes were largely absorbed by the changes in the demand for money. Whatever monetary changes we are talking about that is absorbed by the changes for demand for money. But Friedman holds the view that the demand for money is highly stable. So here comes the contradiction between the Keynes and the Friedman and we take this stable demand for money as the criticism of Keynes theory of money. Third point is the nature of money. Now Keynes failed to understand the true nature of money. He believed that money could be exchanged for bonds only. But it can be exchanged for bonds, securities, physical assets, human wealth, etc. So these uh, exchange for money for these particular types, they were totally ignored by Keynes. Fourth point is the effect of money. Because Keynes wrote for the depression period, he concluded that money had little effect on income. Because the phase in which he wrote his theory, it was for depression. But it was wrong on the part of the Keynes to say that money had little effect on income. Money does affect national income. Now when Friedman gave his theory, he said that uh, he uh, the, the contradiction of money that precipitated the de depression. So Keynes said that money does affect national income and we take it as the criticism of Keynes that he just said that money had little effect on income but actually money has good effect on national income. This comes to the end of the article. I hope it was very clear. Let me know in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.